Hey guys, ShigaCrypt13 here. So, um, I have a quick little resin update because I'm getting ready to pour because I just opened Lady Jarhead's package. So, I'm going to try her molds out, but I just wanted to do um, a little update real quick. So, Miss Stone actually said I should have waited to put the sticker in and pop this piece out and then put the sticker in and poured resin actually in here. And unfortunately, I got the message like right after I wound up sticking it in here. And it is kind of bumpy in the back, but. Uh, I'm hoping that it comes out alright. I'm going to try it anyway. So, we'll see how that goes. Um, it was the only sticker I had that was like big enough to fill right there. Because I just wanted to see how it works. So if this comes out cool, I'll probably do like seams in the center of it. Because I have some cool Angry Bird ones that I want to try. So, that's getting ready to get its last layer. Then, I did this one again. And I'm going with Care Bears. And I'm still trying to figure out what kind of background I want to give it. I might do a rainbow one, or a green one, or a purple one. I haven't decided yet. So, I'm going to try this guy. Give him a backing. And I made him much thinner, so he won't be as thick as the last one. And then, I'm working on my owl. And I put black in, and the sand in. And this time, he actually has a full white brow. Um, as opposed to this guy. I actually like the brow one on this one, but... Um, when I was pouring, I just was running out of time because it was already starting to harden because I was messing with other pieces. So, he has a full white brow, but I don't think it looks bad. So, I'm going to give him eyes real quick. Um, and then he can get a background later on, maybe tomorrow or so. So, um, then, you guys have already seen this one. I showed it in the garage. It's super, super shiny. I love all the glitter that's in it. I don't know if you can see the glitter on camera or not. There's a little bit of it. And I love the sticker that's in it. So, this is super cool. I want to make it into a pendant. I don't think you... There you go. It's super, super glittery. So, um, this is the same one that just came out of the Care Bear mold that I'm doing. So, I'm going to do another one of those after I'm done with the Care Bear one. Um, and I'm working on some gummy bears. I'm going to make some zombie gummy bears. I don't know if you're going to be able to see him or not. But I'm going to take white paint and put stitches across him. Um, kind of like how Sally stitched up. So I'm going to make him look zombified. Make some cute rings out of him. Um, then I think I've already showed a few of the next pieces. But uh, this was House of Ink Houston's Brass Knuckle Mold. And I love it. And it's hardened. Um, so they do harden. just takes a little bit. Um, a few days maybe to harden up and they're super cool and pretty. I might have to buy another one of these. Um, I might actually wind up getting uh, the bigger set. I'm not sure yet. She has too many cool molds and I'm running out of money so I'm gonna make some wise decisions but it's really really pretty and I really re uh, recommend this mold so check hers out um, and they do harden up so uh, I think I've already showed this I'm getting ready to do another one. And then I showed these in the last video and I said I was going to paint them, so I painted the faces on. Because these actually indent where the black is, so I just painted the insides of them. And the same with my bunny. And it's really, really cute. I like how it has like the little eyelash off to the side. So these will make really cute rings, so I'm going to make a few more of those, and I'm going to do the teddy bear one too, because I didn't get to pour it last time. just wasn't the right color. I mean, the cat is purple, but and I could have made the teddy bear purple, but I didn't. So um, Here's the grenade from House of Ink Houston's. Um, it did harden up where the um, stem is right here, and everything seems to have hardened up on it. The only piece that has not hardened is right here. It's hardened up somewhat, but it's still very, very bendy right there. So I don't know if this is going to harden right here, or if it just needs more time to harden. I'm hoping that it hardens up because I really want to make these independent, and I'm afraid to drill up there because I'm afraid that I will break it if I do. Um, the other thing is, is I went ahead and made a second one, and it's still a little bit bendy, so it still takes a few days, but I made it black with pretty glitter in it. I don't think you can see the glitter on camera. But, um, Someone was saying to do them back to back, but you can't because the stem will be on the other side. The image is not the same. It reverses, so um, you can't do that with these. Um, I know it was a cool idea, but you can't do it with them. So, But the mold is really, really cool, and I really, really love it. I've been waiting for somebody to come out with um, a grenade mold. 
um, not only her, but uh, Cat's Perfect has one too, and it's a cupcake mold. It's a little bit girlier, and it's really cute. So check both of their molds out. They both make great molds. So anyway, I made another one because I love it. Um, then I was trying something cool. Um, I think House of Ink Houston is having a uh, contest, and Skulls was one of the themes. And you're not going to be able to see this because it's not glazed yet. But this sticker was too big for the mold. So what I did was I bent the back legs out and tried to dome resin on the back of it so that the legs could stick out of the mold. And they're still covered in resin. Um, so they're strong and sturdy, but I want to do the back a little bit better. And I need to glaze it to make it look shiny. But it's really super pretty. It has um, a black glitter background. It has faint glitter in the front. And then it has those cool circle stickers in there. And a really cool skull. You can't really tell it right now because it's not glazed. And I need to figure out how I'm going to secure these a little bit better. But I think this is going to be a really cool piece. I'm going to try it a few more times. But I really love how the legs stick out of the heart still. I, because it's a heart and then it has the crossbones. And if anyone wants to try and make a mold of that, I think that would be a cool idea. I don't know. Um... But I thought it was pretty cool, so... Anyway, I'm working on that. And then I painted my Jack Skeleton mold uh, piece that I made. So that's what I've got so far. And I think he came out pretty cool. So I'm going to make... Um, an, I'm going to make a few more of these, but I'm making this one for Miss Stone's contest. And I want to make a bow the bow that he has and attach it to dangle from here. I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to drill it because it's thin but I think it's thick enough for me to drill into it where I won't hurt the piece. Because if not I'm going to have to put a bale on the back of this and which would be fine but um, I want it to look really good. So Anyway, there's my piece. Um, and I've got a second one that I'm doing right now but I'm going to try and do the background in a different color because I ran out so it's not very thick. So I need to do another layer on the back of the other one. But this one's fine. I think it came out great. Um, I might dust the mold where the mouth is next time with like black chalk or something. Or my black glitter so that it sets in there. Because um, I have to paint over this and then wipe it off. The excess off like you would if you were putting a... Um, you can put paint on things and then use rubbing alcohol to wipe away the excess. And it will leave the line like this. Um, which is a really cool effect and look, but sometimes I wipe away too much and it doesn't all come out. But this one I went back and I perfected a little bit more, but I think it looks really good and really cool and I like how it came out, so I'll be making more of those. Um, then I have to still glaze my ant pieces. I'm not really going to show them all right now because they were in my last video, but I sent some of them out to um, a few people. So I have some left, and I've got some more ones that I'm doing meh right now. And anyway, I'll show another update of everything when I've got it done. So thanks for watching, guys. Bye.